Our society has a past, and that past is a conversation about how we should live together. So when you guys read Antigone, you're reading a play from 2,000 years ago where people were trying to figure out how to live together. The course uh, was called Searching Together for the Common Good and was kind of cast as a history of ethics, really, uh, with a focus on how we think about each other, how we treat each other. This conversation that's been going on for centuries between all these thinkers, those are the sorts of things that should be accessible to all American teenagers. And too often, courses and experiences like this are not available to students from low-income communities. So it was really important for me to bring this kind of programming to Uncommon Schools. This is an opportunity to see what a college class feels like, how to manage myself, what the workload could possibly be like. And then it also taught me a lot about how the philosophies from so long ago still relate to today's society. Uncommon has existed since 1997 and operates high-performing K-12 public charter schools across the Northeast. Students at Uncommon are predominantly black and Latino or Latina. They are predominantly qualified for free and reduced price lunch, and many of them will be the first in their families to go to college. We see courses like this, dual enrollment, four credit college courses from institutions like Stanford as the next frontier in high school education. So the course at Uncommon is based on the class I teach in at Stanford and is a kind of miniaturized version of it. So the idea was to explore taking some of the curriculum, uh, offering it in a high school setting, and seeing if we couldn't replicate a kind of culture of the classroom. The flow of the class and the fact that our ideas are encouraged is a little bit different because usually we're kind of trapped to a binary where we're taught right, wrong. Even though this was the first philosophy class I took, I'd take 10 more because I actually get to expand on things, learn new things, and apply it in different ways than I really would in my other classes, and I truly feel like it carries. We started with Confucius, then we read some Marcus Aurelius, then we moved on to Sophocles' play Antigone, then we moved on to Aristotle, we watched Spike Lee's film Do the Right Thing, we read some Karl Marx, and we're gonna come back to Confucius to wrap up the course at the end. I honestly thought it was like a bunch of old white dudes <laughs> sitting there talking about things that happened that they could have changed in the past, but as I continued to take the course, I realized how it was more applied to the future than it was to what they were currently going through. Greg will introduce new material, uh, ideas from the books, and then a huge component of the course is students going into breakout rooms with the Stanford undergraduates. And then they're having the kinds of conversations Stanford freshmen have in SLE, students here are having it on Zoom. To have Stanford students in the class, it made me feel like I was in college already. They challenged my thinking, so I really appreciated it. With the Stanford students, I felt like it had a big impact on my entire experience. Being able to listen and take notes is one thing, but being able to like understand it, break it down, and then be able to tell somebody else what I learned probably wouldn't have happened if they didn't help me. And on the other two days a week, we have section basically, where I'm the section leader. We turn off the computers and we sit together and discuss the text they talked about on Zoom in person to help students process and get ready for the next day's call. I had a lot more freedom. It was more of an open seminar, not like a traditional classroom structure. We were allowed to really express our ideas, even if they combated. So you're in the classroom with uh, your fellow high school students, some undergraduate students, and then a college professor. And I think to find your voice in that kind of classroom and not be intimidated by me, for example, hopefully that was of some benefit to them too. I felt empowered because I would ask questions that would contradict each philosopher. This course has most definitely made me more confident about going to college next year because I was kind of fearful of professors. But then as we continued on with this course, it was honestly interesting to see sometimes how we would align or sometimes how I would answer something and he was like, that's exactly what I was thinking. It was honestly <laughs> like really fun. The same conversation I was welcomed into as a Stanford freshman, they've been welcomed into it now and they feel not just like they're observers of that conversation, but that they're participants that they can disagree with Sophocles, that they can agree with Aristotle, that they can have a quibble with Confucius. It made you want to learn more. This is interesting, and because it's interesting, it, it's not as hard. We're really excited to continue this collaboration with Stanford next year, and we're also really excited about the possibility of bringing this course and other Stanford courses to even more uncommon students in the future. Our students belong in those college spaces. They are ready to succeed in those college spaces, but a course like this can provide the confidence 
in them that that's all true. Sometimes having that experience when you're still a high schooler can make you feel the truth of that as opposed to just thinking it. To know that I did this and what I would think is in a university that's incredibly hard, it feels really great. <laughs> it's so weird to say, but to know that I did it and I went through it and I rocked out, it feels amazing.